What struck me when reading the report is that the commission got it right. There was probable cause to take Robert Card into custody under Maine's yellow flag law. This is important because the sheriff's office report had previously stated there was not enough evidence to do so. I remember telling dispatch that the commission's findings were very detailed. They found that there was probable cause to take Robert Card into custody, order a medical evaluation, and likely take his firearms away. They also found that there was enough evidence to prosecute Card with assaulting another Army reservist. And based on the circumstances, law enforcement should have acted, but didn't. Though the victim's families can file a wrongful death lawsuit, it'll be difficult to do so for a failure to act. Usually those lawsuits require an affirmative action and misconduct by law enforcement. Ryan Card, just to... It potentially uh, creates a nice scapegoat, but there's a much bigger problem here, which is the epidemic of gun violence in America. The fact that you have somebody with a pretty severe mental health illness that had been well documented for many months, who had multiple assault weapons in his possession, uh, th there are issues that are much bigger than the conduct of a, a two or three person local law enforcement department. This report is a black eye for law enforcement that initially said they had done nothing wrong. They acted appropriately with department guidelines and the law. Well, this commission report concludes the opposite, that there was plenty of evidence to do the right thing and that officers failed to do so.